Hi everyone, Grant K here from the Smoke Learning Channel. A while ago I received a request to show how to do a light wrap technique on a chroma key. This creates the sense of the background colors casting over the keyed subject to better blend it into the background. We are going to use the modular key for our example. We'll start off at the point where we've just performed a standard keying operation with the master keyer node and a color warper node was used to color correct the keyed subject. If you want an introduction to the modular keyer, please click the following link. So selecting the result node and pressing the F4 keyboard shortcut will show us the current result of the modular keyer. The key is almost correct and what would help it is two extra tasks. Firstly, we'll blend the edge brightness to sit better on the background. And to finish the key off, we'll use a light wrap technique using pixel spreading, which will bleed the edge colors from the background over the keyed subject. This will further integrate our key into its background. Swiping to the left of the screen to toggle between the current view and the modular key schematic. Scroll the node bin and find the matte curves node. Drag this node into the schematic view and break all the connections to the result node. Connect the output of the color warper node into the red front input of the matte curves node. Now connect the background image output into the green background input of the matte curves node. Finally, connect the matte or alpha output of the master keyer node into the blue alpha input of the matte curves node. Double clicking on this node will bring up its menus and press F4 on the keyboard to see its result view. Select the front blending curve and adjust the center control point. Bending the curve darkens the grayer values which allow the image to blend a bit better. The second task is the light wrap. We need to create an edge mat to isolate the edges for the light wrap to take place. To do this, swipe to the left to bring up the schematic and the node bin. Scroll the node bin and locate the mat edge node. Drag this out of the node bin into the schematic. We'll take the mat from the master keyer blue output and connect it into the front red input of the edge mat node. Double click on the node and press the F4 keyboard shortcut to see the result. To create the mat for this light wrap, ensure that edges is turned on. Set the edges mode to advanced. This gives you greater control over how the edge mat is created. Now set the edge width to zero. Uncheck the proportion button under the softness slider and increase the inner softness to 3.0. This will grow the softness edge mat on the inside of the key so that the background will blend over the edges of the keyed subject. So now that we have an edge mat, we can now do a light wrap. Swipe to the left to bring up the schematic and the node bin. Scroll the node bin and locate the pixel spread node. Drag this out of the node bin into the schematic. Now connect the matte curve output into the red front input of pixel spread. Connect the original background node into the green background input for pixel spread. Finally, connect the output of the matte edge node into the blue matte input of the pixel spread node. Double click on the node and press F4 to see the result. The pixel spread will naturally spread colors of the background over the talent. This is not the same as simply layering a semi-transparent version of the background over the key. We want to create a natural fall off of color so that this can be surrounding the key and this cannot simply be achieved by just layering. For a natural spread of the color in pixel spread, set the spread type to interpolate. 
Now we want the colors to spread into the mat, so set the spread mode to contract. So if I exaggerate the color interpolation to its maximum, you can see how color spreads in a natural direction over the keyed subject. We'll drop the value back to 45%. Now you can tweak the edges and softness sliders to see the effects you get, but I'll leave the shrink at 0 and the softness at 1. Zoom in tight into the image with the navigation controls and bring your attention to the edge detail. If you press the F1 keyboard shortcut, you will see the original front input without the pixel spread effect. Press the F4 keyboard shortcut to see the result with pixel spread and you can see the difference. Finally, we need to connect our results to the result node so that the modular keyer can process the result. Connect the output of the pixel spread node to the red front and green background inputs of the result node. The matte input we must use is the original matte coming from the master keyer node as it will have the full matte including the edges that we isolated for the light wrap. The light wrap technique is one of the many methods to ensure your keys always blend correctly with their backgrounds. If you want to know any more information about Autodesk Smoke, or you'd like to download the free 30-day trial copy, just go to autodesk.com forward slash smoke for Mac.